dear IAS aspirants, I am SN Chakraborty here. I am discussing why Plato's philosophy is essentially linked to his concept of justice. Plato, born in 427 BC, is recognized as father of political philosophy. He shifted the fulcrum of philosophical discussion from divine law and principle to the circumstances of the real world. He focused on political system and the political participation in the Greek city-states uh, and their limitations. Plato discussed the theory of state from the perspective of justice. His concept of society, property rights, family, education, communism, democracy and citizenship are also built up around the concept of justice. He placed justice in two broad spectrums individual justice and collective justice. Plato's justice doesn't mean merely uh, just adhering uh, to the law. It is based on the inner nature of human spirit. Human soul is inherently pure in nature according to Plato. Soul eventually becomes impure or vitiated when individual enters into conflict at the cost of justice to acquire wealth and power. Plato aims to protect the purity of soul permanently. For him, a just state is possible when it is managed and ruled by individual with pure and just soul. For Plato, justice is a moral notion. This is achieved through collective contribution. The sense of justice could be inculcated in individuals through education and training. This can give capacity to distinguish between right and wrong, good and evil. A state will be harmonious if it is hierarchically structured according to Plato. This means there has to be men of reason as rulers, men of courage as warriors and men of appetite are the general public. Only through proper education, the task of the screening of individual capability can be accomplished. According to Plato, property right and family structure are perennial hindrances to attain this goal. People struggle to accumulate wealth and power because of family liability. He prescribed abolition of property rights for the Gurgian classes, which comprise the rulers and the warriors. Since slaves had no property right in Greek city-states, he left them out of the scheme. Plato's state, in Plato's state, property is a collective asset and children born out of human relationships are free of any class identity. Plato's idea of a classless society and communism lies here. Plato talked about education for all. The process of education will identify the person of reason who because of purity of soul know what is good for society. Most reasonable person among them will become the philosopher king. Government in such situation will be managed by intelligence rather than any vested interest. Plato was not in favor of democracy at all because for him it was a mob rule. Those who are capable of manipulating public opinion will rise to power there. Justice in democracy will therefore cannot be ensured. Plato was criticized for being an idealist because he did not explain how philosopher king will really remain pure forever. He also did not clarify how will it be possible to abolish property, right and family institution and marriage. Aristotle declined to accept that classless society can be achieved only by abolishing marriage and property right. Surrendering before the philosopher king, according to Karl Popper, was an attempt to destroy Athenian open society, where people deliberated uh, in open assembly on policy issues. However, 
G. H. Sabine said that due to some shortcomings, concluding that Plato wanted injustice in society will be a gross error. Plato's concept of justice is significant because by locating it in political environment, he in fact opened up the democratic formation of society. By making justice the central place, Plato completed the first theoretical examination of political thought. Hope you like this introductory session on Plato. Thank you very much.